fellow subscribers, it's been a while. I haven't uh, been doing anything with my channel. It's kind of been in and active. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life. Um, so I'm kind of creating a little blog here so that um, kind of get you guys catched up on the, the, what's going on. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of traveling with my wife and um, there'll be some videos on that. Uh, also, um, uh, I joined the, uh, well, I don't know how to start it. Well, I got rid of my, my Tundra. I saw my Tundra. And um, I, I, I joined the Tacoma world. I bought a Tacoma in honor of my mom. I lost my mom a couple of months ago. And, one of the things I did and was to uh, purchase a Tacoma, so I'm going to kind of run a, give you a run through of what the Tacoma looks like. It's a 2018 uh, 4x4, pretty much have a lot of features in it. Uh, SR5, it's not a, the TRD or, or the Pro. I think for the for the most part these trucks are a bit overpriced. Although I got a good price on this one, I can't complain of what I got it for, considering what I what I have with it. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's take a look and see. So it is, guys. This is my uh, S5 SR5. Um, it is a six-cylinder. 4x4 four four, double cab and basically the way you see it is the way it came I have a backup camera with a um, little short bed nothing really fancy and this assist uh, tailgate it drops off easy um, I did add something onto this. Uh, I added uh, cargo lights and uh, I am planning to put a park cover on top of this. I just ordered it so I'm waiting for it to come in. The running boards came with the truck. That's not something I added. Um, let's take a look on the inside of it. Now I owned a pre-runner 2003 and I got rid of it because it was too small and my kids were coming down here for the uh, summer when they were you know much younger and smaller and I went with the Tundra which was a bigger truck. So looking in the inside I did add these custom made seats for tack guy out uh, in California, Sal, hooked me up, gave me a really good price on these seat covers. They're truly custom made to fit the vehicle. I did add a dashboard rug, only because down here in Florida, dashboards get beat up pretty bad with the heat. I don't know about cracking or anything like that with the Tacomas, but I still put it on. I had it on my Tundra. I've seen other trucks that sit out in the sun the dashboards are all cracked due to the uh, the heat inside of it let's see if I can get here I'm going to lower this a little bit sorry guys I have my uh, GoPro handle here is a little bit extended let's see how we can give you an inside look of this so inside you know, obviously I have all my controls, my volume and my radio um, <clears throat> controls here. Um, my phone connection. This truck does come with uh, the 
avoidance system in the front sensor and uh, departure avoidance system on the side like when you're going over you know the lanes and stuff like that and you're not paying attention on the inside here I have a display gives me all the information of what the truck um, has. I'm going to turn it on here real quick. Um, I have a auto dim mirror and I have one, two, three bays of programmable station. I have this one set so that it uh, opens the gate to my community. I have um, down here, if you can see this, this allows me to open the rear glass of the truck. Um, I have the premium uh, audio system here. And so, uh, in here I have my navigation. I have my phone, my message, weather, traffic. Also tells me what my average mileage is. I've been getting about 18.4 to about 20 in the city. Um, much different than what I was getting on my uh, on my Tundra. Um, <clears throat> on the audio part, I have uh, USB, my phone, XM, FM, AM, CD player, which I don't know, I, I do have CDs, but I don't really play them anymore. And this is my connection here for my auxiliary. I have a power supply here as well as my compartment here I have one down here yeah, my truck's a little messy my glove compartment I did upgrade my lights I have LED lights added on same thing with my with the mirrors both sides so we are, I have a GoPro mount on this, which came standard on this truck. It's kind of weird. I guess they all come with it on the Tacomas, uh, being that a lot of people do off-road with it. Then I have my cargo lights. I do have what they call the high beam auto, which uh, what it does, it, it's, it turns on uh, when the you have really low light conditions but if another vehicle is coming by it would knock off the high beams and then once the vehicle gets past it goes back up to the high beams or you know when is needed um, my controls for the windows locks this adjusts the mirrors uh, the mirror mirrors are also heated I have a defroster here um, I guess that's really more for vehicles up north I don't know about down here me using that water bottle holder in the rear I have back here another set of USB I haven't opened this here except for anybody who's in the back and they have a phone or laptop or whatever in my seats, I got compartment storage on the back. Just got to pull this tab here. And the storage here, as well as underneath here. The other side is the same thing. Uh, I did get floor mats. Um, I didn't get weather tech. I don't like weather tech. For some reason down here, the heat, they start curling out here. I've had these since uh, 
I bought the truck about six months ago. They fit well. They keep all the dirt off. I like it. Uh, my LEDs in the back cargo. I can turn them on here. As you can see, they're on. But I also have an added feature that I can turn them off back here. And turn them back on. The cargo lights in the back are LEDs. Um, I will go over that whole installation of the LED lights. Um, I did it myself. Uh, the LEDs cost me $65, and you know, and it was easy to install. Um, got it on a relay. I'm gonna cut this off a minute so I can show you what the engine looks like. So one of the nice thing I have, which I didn't have on my Tundra, was this backup camera. Um, not the highest quality, per se. I mean, I think they can work. Uh, Toyota can work on better cameras, but for for practical use, it does have one, and I like the fact that I. to turn my head but just kind of look towards the back so getting back here this is my uh, engine compartment a lot of stuff in here not like my tundra everything's really confined and tight um, I don't know if I We'll be able to do any kind of works on this, but I'm not afraid to. I've already done some things on this. Oh, there's another thing I did. Uh, because I ride out to the Everglades, one of the issues here is the bugs. So I added, inside of my grill, a screen. And that prevents bugs getting into the radiator. If you can look. You can see that I have a mesh here easy to clean I just stick my hose in here boom and it maintains the radiator clean um, I think once the radiator starts getting a lot of bugs it, it affects how the engine cools so and the grill on this truck is quite open so everything gets in here um, but the nice thing about it is that I, I can hose it down and it doesn't hinder the airflow to the engine. That's something I, I added. I didn't want anything on the outside. I mean, you can get a, a net to cover the front of the grill, but I didn't want that. Um, came with the alloy rams. They're 16 inch. Uh, maybe down the road I might put in Bilsteins and upgrade the uh, tires, put a little beefier tire on there. Um, fog lights that came with the truck. Um, I don't know what more I can tell you. It's actually uh, it's everything I need in here. I'm, I don't need any more. But for the most part, I, I really like the truck. Um, it um, brings me back memories to the one I had, the first one I had, except this is much more of a big upgrade. Um, but anyway, I will start posting more stuff in regarding to my channel. It's, like I said, it's been a, a, a while that I haven't done anything. Um, there will be some modifications on this truck, small ones, nothing big. Um, I am going to put a... piece to my tailpipe which I ordered it and it's sitting in the in my garage and I'll do a update on that but for the most part uh, great truck um, could have gotten something different yeah I looked at the fours and looked at but you know what um, my heart came back to having a Tacoma which I, I've had previous and I, I really like them. I liked the style of the Tacomas and um, you know they're very reliable trucks and 
for the most part, these these vehicles retain their their values. And, you know, people look look for them, and you can get a decent price for them. Although I'm not planning to sell this one, I'll probably run this one to the ground. But I will take care of it. And like I said, I bought it in honor to my mom. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, there'll be more videos coming up.